Hey guys, so really quickly before we jump into anything, I just want to take a moment to um, make a, a statement about like some conscious awareness um, just about the world around us because that's something that's very important to Nikki and I to really look at like the issues that are going on in the world and the community and to do our part to hopefully try and at least raise awareness and maybe potentially raise some, um, some funds for it as well. So I'm sure as many of you know, um, Australia is suffering with just devastating wildfires, like unimaginable wildfires. And um, a lot of their wildlife is dying because of it. Um, obviously the the citizens and the people who live there, they're also suffering, but the wildlife itself is, um, it's very rich in Australia and we are losing rapidly a lot of um, very uh, important species to us. Um, koala bears may be on the uh, the endangered species list after this. So that being said, there's a lot of people out there who are risking their lives and their safety and um, they're taking incredible steps and um, attempts to to control these fires, to contain those fires and to make them um, manageable is because right now they're not. So that being said, uh, Nikki has done a lot of research and he's found an organization that directly donates to the firefighters and 100% of the proceeds goes directly to them to help them fight the fires and to help them save whatever wildlife they can and preserve the um, the environment there as much as they can. If you would like to donate, do not feel pressured to at all. It's just something that we wanted to give you guys the option to since he has done the research and found an organization that is going to be giving the proceeds to the right place. Because I know with charities, sometimes you may donate and you're not really, you're not really sure where your money is going. So if you want to to donate then we really appreciate it it is um, going to be linked into the bottom of the channel and uh yeah other than that stay tuned for content hey guys welcome back to dark angel beauty thank you so much for tuning in today we are here with another haul video this is a haul that i did right after christmas ended I think I actually put in the, the order on Christmas day. There's a couple other things that I bought maybe right after Christmas, but we've really, since Christmas have ended, has we've been on a no buy, a very strict no buy because we're trying to buy a house. So that's the biggest buy you can possibly do. So we are really trying to not spend uh, superfluous money where we can cut back things. We bought a lot that we haven't even played with in December and November. So, so there's a lot of content we have to be able to make for you guys. And we've been very, low on filming, which I apologize for. I hate that we have not been filming and posting as much as I would like to, but we're going to get back on track. Everything's just been distracting us lately and I apologize for that. That being said, I did want to get this haul done mainly so I could just put this makeup away because it's just been sitting in boxes on my floor for like two months now. So yeah, so we're going to do this today. Um, really quickly, if you like my hat, which I love, I love this hat. I cannot say enough about the company who makes it. It is Fur Talk. They are a brand new company. They are doing a great deal of stuff to get themselves out there. And because of that, they've reached out to me and they wanted to collaborate. And so they sent me some of these really sweet little hats. I got a fedora, which we, well, I wore in a couple other videos. And then this is the beanie. I love the beanie. The beanie I literally could wear 100% of the time. I think it's adorable and I love the way it feels and I love the way it looks. Um, so that being said, if you guys are interested in checking out for talk, they are definitely available on Amazon. You can also go to their website. And if you're interested in picking up a, um, a little bit of a discount, cause you know, your girl always likes to save money and she likes to pass deals along to you guys. Then we do have a promo code. It is D a beauty capital D capital D capital D capital a lowercase beauty. And uh, you'll get 50 percent off for that 15. That is 15. I cannot speak today and uh, my nose is clogged. So I just am sounding very like stuffed up right now. Sorry about that. Anyway, if you like the mess of a human being I am, then you should also subscribe to the page because that helps us out. But if you don't, I don't blame you. So jumping into the hall now. All right, first thing, this is not part of the big haul that I did after Christmas. This is a, um, I actually was buying a present for Nikki's little sister and I, uh, I was like, I gotta spend $40 to get a, a, a coupon. So I, I spent 21 of it on me, so. This is a brand new palette Morphe release for the holiday season. I love it. It is the 39L Hit the Lights Artistry Palette. Just got a lot of great stuff. It's giant. I got it on sale. So I think it was 30, 39 normally. And I, or maybe 42 even. For, uh, it was 42. It was 42. Now I'm remembering. It's been so long. Uh, it was 42 normally and I got 50% off for it. So it was 21 when I paid for it. And I think that is a definitely a steal. 
I'm in love with this shimmer shade right here. I also love the fact that they have all these neon shades. They've got a lot of reds. They've got a lot of colors. They got a lot of mattes. I just, I loved it. I loved it when I saw it online and then I saw it in person and I loved it more. So picked that one up for a, definitely a steal. Now the rest of it, I honestly don't remember what I paid for most of it just because, um, it's been a long time, but I know I had a 20% off coupon, so I got some deals. So I did pick up, we picked up the Spicy Betch palette from Tarte. They just released it. And if you guys know me personally, then you know that I eat a lot of spicy foods. Like, uh, I mean, like I use like an entire bottle of hot sauce when I go to Mexican restaurants and people are like, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, a lot, but you know, the spice factor is not one of them. So I love the fact that it was chili peppers. And then when you look at the colors of it, they are right up my alley. I love oranges, reds, pinks, all of those warm toned colors. And this is just a whole bunch of bright neon shaded, really red, green, red, green, red, yellow, and um, orange colors. So I was a huge fan of that. Really, really like it. And I can't wait to do a cool look with it. I did pick that up. It was full price, but because I had the 20% off coupon, it kind of incentivized me to go ahead and pick it up when I did. The next thing that I got is the Glitter Obsession Duo from Smith & Colt. I love Smith & Colt. I've received a lot of their products from like BoxyCharm and Ipsy. I've never actually bought any of their makeup directly. So when I saw that Ulta had this little set for them, I believe it was on sale for $18 comes with a gold liquid eyeshadow, which I love. And then it came with like this really cool, like super giant, they look like little lightning bolts, but they are basically a pressed loose glitter. So I think the intention is it's supposed to be like an all over glitter. Like you can use it, yeah, an all over glitter. So I think I can use it for my eyes, which is what I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to do, but I'll have to do a little bit more research before I actually start showing you guys what to do with it and uh, tell you to put it on your eyeballs. And then it's like, now I have a lightning bolt in my eye. So I don't wanna do that, that'd be bad. Uh, I also did pick up the Revolution, Makeup Revolution London Cosmetics Precious Stone Palette in the SGA Emerald. I'd already picked up the Ruby one and I really liked the Ruby one. So that's why I went ahead and added this one to my cart and my collection. All right, so that is what that one looks like. Um, I really like green shades. I don't wear them quite often, but I, um, I liked it and it's got enough neutral shades that I was like, yeah, I wanna have that in my collection. So I did pick that one up as well. I believe it was on sale for $9 and then I also had that coupon on top of it. So it made it a definite, definite steal, a little bit of a bargain. I did also pick up just two more of my Juvia's Place concealers because they're one of my favorite concealers and they were on sale as well. So I picked up two more of those. And then I did get this Lime Crime it's like a little winter collection. I think I paid 21, 22, 50 maybe for the palette. Honestly, like the palette is adorable, but when you think about like some of the other stuff that I've gotten in the past, I think it's probably not super worth 22, 50, but like I did it, so here it is. So I'm excited to um, to test that one out as well. Now, the rest of the pack, I, th I think the rest of the box is just Epsom salts. Um, I did not realize that Ulta sells Dr. Teal's. So I did buy six bags of Epsom salts because they were on sale for like $4.89 and then I had that 20% off coupon. So it made them super cheap. So I got, I've used two of them already because it's been so long, but I got the Deep Marine Sea Kelp Mineral Soak. I got the Relax and Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint one, which is the one I'm currently using. And then I also picked up the Wellness Therapy Rosemary Mint one, which I actually was a huge fan of. It does not smell overwhelmingly like rosemary, which I was kind of worried about because I'm not a huge rosemary fan, but it is very good. Like that is, I believe one that was designed specifically to help like muscle aches and things like that, especially for athletes. And so with my swelling, I found it really does a great job of taking out a lot of the pain of my legs from being on my legs for long periods of time and taking out the swelling that is due because of that as well. So that was a awesome, awesome find. I will probably wind up keeping the rosemary mint in my collection all the time now after having discovered it. The last two things I wanna show you guys are not actually from Ulta. I bought them directly from the, from the vendor after Christmas because they were doing a sale. And they are two sh cleansing shampoos from WEN. If you don't know WEN, it is created by hairstylist Chaz Dean. It is a cleansing conditioner. So it is a two-in-one shampoo conditioner duo. 
And the whole idea is that it is supposed to be as organic and healthy for your hair as possible. It is not supposed to do everything that um, the negative foaming shampoos normally do. And because of that, I actually decided to purchase it because I dye my hair such vibrant colors. And I found my colors have been fading a lot more than they should be. So my mom and I started talking about it and I had found like a really old one that she had given me because she hated the scent of it because she's been using one forever. And it was like cinnamon apple and I hate cinnamon. So I also hate the scent of it, but I was like, I wanna try it just to see. There is not another shampoo, cleansing shampoo, color treating shampoo, anything out there that I've used since I started dyeing my hair, the purples and the reds and the really vibrant colors that strip very easily, that does not have color when they run off. I've used another cleansing shampoo that was found at like it's just a CVS or just a standard drugstore. I used that, it still had purple runoff. These do not run off. They don't run off. They don't strip your color. That is part of it. And that is why I made the decision to buy them. Uh, they were on sale. I don't remember how much. I think he's doing like 40 or 50% off his website at the time because it was right after Christmas. I bought the two and I believe they were both after tax and everything, $49. So it was very affordable. I mean, it, when you think about two shampoos, $25 a piece is very expensive, but four, they last forever. For what they're doing for your hair, if you have color treated hair, I would highly recommend it looking into when because it is a good way to preserve your color. I couldn't really appreciate it before because I was blonde and so my color had been stripped. So it wasn't going to run off color anyway. The same thing with my mom, she's been blonde and bleaching her hair forever. So she's never really noticed like how much it preserves your hair color because with when you're bleaching your hair, it's you've stripped the color out of it. Basically, you're just waiting for your roots to grow in. When you're dyeing your hair and adding color to it, it's the fact that you are getting color stripped out that makes it hard to upkeep it. So um, like right now, it's just starting to fade. I dyed this before Thanksgiving. It's been lasting me for two months. That being said, I've also like cut back showers and I've like done a lot of dry shampoos and stuff like that, which is I've talked about that in the past, but this also has helped when I do shower not fade the color as fast as it normally would. So whatever you're gonna spend in the shampoo itself is probably going to save you in dye and headaches later down the road. So it is definitely something to consider. That's all I have to talk about today for you guys. Um, this is probably gonna be our last haul for a little while. I mean, obviously we'll still be doing subscription boxes and things like that, but with us trying to buy the house, then um, you'll probably be getting a lot more content about that whole process. Um, if you're interested in that, please let us know because it's definitely something that a lot of people don't really like think about or talk about, but when you actually get involved in it, it's like, it's honestly kind of life consuming, which is why it's been so hard for us to film. It's really all we've been thinking about. We've been working with, you know, mortgage companies and trying to figure out how much we can get approved for and, and all that stuff. So it's just been a lot. So um, I think we'll probably be creating some content about that whole process as well. And um, I'm sure we'll be at some point buying some furniture and doing some stuff that we'll be showing you maybe then. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the page, please do so. I promise we're fun. We're, we're, we're a mess, but we're, we're fun. We're a lovable mess. So yeah. Uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.